That's right, folks. Johnny Somali facing 29 years in South Korean prison. And oh, as a South Korean myself, I am so proud that my home country is not backing down like all the other countries where they do a little bit of a slap on the wrist. And then Johnny's like, oh, please, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to be all racist and just so disrespectful. And then they get away. And he goes out saying, ha, 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 I'm going to go to a different country and start this shit. Well, guess what, motherfucker? You in the rice field. Welcome to Korea and Baldi. Asmund Gold himself, the only person's opinion that matters, is going to break it down for us. Let's give it a watch. Somali apparently might be taking a really long vacation from content creation. Uh, it might be a 29-year vacation. Bro, the last time I heard this, it was 10 years. 10 years from desecrating this important, in, in, insane, like, like, think about, I don't want to compare this to, you know, zone, like, um, ground zero, but like, war crimes. Back in the past, Korean women getting raped, and you have a place, a sanctuary, right? In, in respect of all the victims and all the tragedies that happened to make people remind that this shit happened, this is not good. He went there and disrespected it. Somali has officially been indicted by South Korean authorities for obstruction of business. What yeah. does that mean for him? Well, he could be looking at up to five years in prison. A <laughs> Why did they use this picture? Is this, this is Japanese. This is not Korean, by the way. What the fuck? It's a Japanese article of Johnny making that face. Up to five years in prison, a huge fine, and potential deportation. Ooh. Yes. No, 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 no. Don't deport this motherfucker. Do not let him go back home. Because he's not going to do... He's not going to be punished. And yeah, the South Korean taxpayers, they're going to be the one facing the brunt of this idiot going to jail, right? All the resources, all the, you know, <laughs> housing. Of course, it comes out of the common person's pockets, but... I think sometimes it's worth to just crucify somebody, to make an example out of them such that this will never happen and to stand on business, show that if you do this, if you come to our place and you, don't disre and you, you disrespect our culture, there's consequences. He keeps going to different places and he gets away with it. Why? This is as serious as it sounds, but here's where things get really interesting. The South Korean justice system. Who does this? Sounds. But here's where things get really interesting. Who, South Korea why? How do you do this? Like, why? It's just so him. weird. I hate him. Korean justice system. It's not like the American <laughs> system. Lost. Yeah, you got that. You know, Baba there, auntie trying to make a living. You, you, you think you got it barking at her back when she's walking away? Last week, Johnny was arrested as the investigation began and officials acted fast. They took his passport, effectively locking him in the country. Good. Lockdown. Yup. I hear he's not under a house arrest. He's allowed to like roam around, but like he cannot leave. The only chance of him getting out, it might be to uh, go to North Korea. He might have to ask Kim Jong-un, please save me. The South Korean demons have locked me in here. I can't get out. Jesus. Now, after collecting enough evidence, they've officially Bro. launched it. What are you doing? It means his travel ban is extended until... Who does that? He just poured out the hot water, cooking his goddamn shin ramen black onto the tabletop. Why? Auntie has to show up and now clean this shit after you. Did your parents not teach you how to properly behave in public? Of course they didn't. Because people like Johnny Somali are the byproduct of shitty parents. And you could say that Johnny is a victim himself, which I hate to say, because there should be self-accountability. But here's the thing. Shitty kids don't just like grow up shitty. Kids are just a blank template. You mold them. The environment that they grow up in, the lessons they learn. He's never been taught empathy. His prefrontal cortex is so underdeveloped because no one gave a fuck about him when he was growing up. And now he's going around just wilding out because he doesn't know how to act any better. Evidence. All right. Yeah. Here's the TTS message too. <laughs> Booty scratcher mom sent $3. Since you are eating ramen with hot water, why don't you pour the hot water down your pants too? <laughs> your sperm's <laughs> It's cheaper than a vasectomy. <laughs> Your father was right to say you should have. Your, your father, 
<laughs> Wait, did, I, I'm missing out on the lore of the Johnny stuff, but I guess like he mentioned in the past to his stream that like his dad told him to not have kids or something because I don't know where the hell that's coming from. They've officially what charged him. Doing? This also means his travel ban is extended until after the trial. So there's no way he's leaving Korea anytime what? soon. Just, bro, 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 bro. If you're too stupid and don't know how to discard the water, then maybe. But you're throwing the noodles. Like, at this point, like, of course, there's never a bit of, like, honesty going on. This is not authentic behavior. He's just trying to fucking crash out intentionally. He's throwing noodles out. There's no way he's Look at leaving that. Korea anytime soon. Who does bro, that? Bro, he's acting like he's two years old. Because he is, Baldy. He is two years old in the head. He cannot critically think. He doesn't even know. Or the worst part is, I mean, I, I saw a clip of him saying he's a, he, he's a sociopath. He's a self-proclaimed sociopath. Saying like, oh, I don't care. It's just like, brother, come on. You know what you're doing. Like, honestly, it almost doesn't bother me that he's doing this because I think of it as like a person having a mental health episode. Yes. It's like, oh my God, so we need to get social services over here immediately. <laughs> Society has Bro, failed him. Somebody, you know, somebody flew over the cuckoo's nest. What the fuck is he's crazy? Yes, he's an animal. What is this? And here's a key fact to keep in mind. Oh South Korea has a 90% conviction rate once a case reaches the indictment stage. Ooh. Yeah, those odds aren't exactly in his favor. John's facing some serious consequences. Oh right boy. now, he's only been indicted for an incident that occurred in a restaurant, which means more serious- do this? And that's the best part. He records all the different cases that can be brought up as an example. He even admitted when he got out of Japan with the slap on the wrist that like, yep, got away. I don't give a fuck, you know? There's no lessons to be learned, right? If you're just like boldly stating that you can just get away with it because no one's going to punish him, what do you think is going to happen? It's all just like cases being built up and built up. And finally, you've arrived at a nation who actually stands on business and will make an example of you. I just, how do you do this? It's so weird. That's right. It's weird to us because we're rational, functioning members of society. But this is the typical behavior, again, of someone who's barely human because they haven't been taught. They don't know how to act properly. They have no parents, you know, course of their childhood teaching them how to do it. And if even if the parents are around, I bet you the parents were also just as dumb because they're also mistakes from their parents. And you see how it's just a cascading effect of blaming the parents. This is what happens when you have a population that gets dumbed down intentionally to be divided, to be intentionally you know, convinced to vote against their best interests. And they continue to reproduce with the, with the failing education system constantly over and over and over. We're getting dumber. We're regressing. We're actually returning to Monkey. Serious indictments could still this follow, guy? potentially resulting in up to 29 years in jail. 29 Here's the incident years. for which he's currently indicted. Okay. I want you to realize that in the background, this is a very stereotypical song when you think about China. Ready? Okay. That high-pitched noise, I remember distinctly. And that song doesn't regularly play in Korean convenience stores. He's playing it out of his own fucking boombox. He's not doing this quietly. He has a separate fucking audio machine playing annoying sounds to be disrespectful. And I'm not saying China bad, but when you show up to Korea and you, you play the most stereotypical Chinese fucking song, what do you think that you're trying to do? You're basically saying, y'all the same shit, all you Asians. You must like this song, right? Hear my fucking fire beats. Okay. That, that right there. Red Sun, exactly. This chatter knows. Linguistic Gamer knows at a song that was playing. Red Sun. Wait. Sorry, sorry, I'm black. 
she comes over. Auntie shows up and says, you got to stop doing this. You're making a fucking mess. And he says, sorry, I'm black. What? We, this, what, what does that mean to you? I'm not going to drink nothing. Sorry, I'm black. I'm not going to drink nothing. Do you think that this is like a card you can play to justify your shitty behavior in public? <laughs> what? I don't drink. Here, sure. No drink. No, 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 no. no. Look here, here. I eat the ramen. Oh my god. Shh. That makes me even more mad. Now we're getting context of that clip in the beginning when he was like, when she was walking away. This is it. She shows up saying, please. You're being so rude to everybody. You're making a commotion. Like, this is crazy. What are you doing? Come on. Smart enough. <laughs> he's like, sorry, I'm black. I'm not drinking nothing. And then she walks away. And he's like, gotcha. I'll fuck you up, granny. Pussy. <laughs> I swear <sighs> to God. Like, this is like what little kids do. Yes. Because he hasn't developed properly beyond. And you know what? <laughs> you know the talking point from Mushoku Tensei Rudius? And how we justify the weird behaviors when it gets reincarnated? The mental age is a talking point that gets brought upon quite a lot. Saying like, yes, because even though he's 40, because he's been mentally stunted since like high school, he's never really properly adapted and grew beyond. Therefore, his body does not match the mentality. And usually that's a talking point used to justify the lollicon shit. We don't, we're not going to get into that. I agree with Johnny Somali's case. His mental age is stunted. I'm at two years old. I think there might be something wrong with him. You think so, Asman? Yeah. I, no, I, I actually think that there could be something wrong with this person. I agree. Low IQ? Thinking like mid-70s? Somewhere around there? I don't think IQ is really a good indicator to determine, like, if you are an intelligent person. I think it's very cringe when people are in a debate and they try to flex their, like, IQ as of, like, I'm right. No, all you have to do is just look at somebody and see how they talk and how they, you know, logically think and come to different opinions. And you can kind of deduce that. But in this case, I agree. Motherfucker mid-70s. Since you are eating raw ramen with hot water, why don't you pour the hot water down your pants to kill your sperm cells? It's cheaper than a vasectomy. Your father was right to say you never should have kids. Your father was right. Your father was right. Oh, was right. Father was right. oh boy. Oh. You're throwing it around. Ooh. Come on, bro. Oh. Who is this guy? Come on, bro. Who does that? He does that. So nasty. Who does this? You got a different person. I'm not sure if she works here, but she's basically saying you can't do this right now. She's like, clean it the fuck up. Oh, this auntie is getting mad. Police, police, call the cops. Call the cops. She's not bald. Yeah, Asmin's bald. What are you talking about? There's hair over there. I did not drink it, you stupid. Okay, so she's not a worker here. She's just like a customer that showed up and was like, this is some bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck you, Chinese. But she's not Chinese. You gotta say Korean. <laughs> but to him, it's all the same, right? Fuck you. He's in Korea. Why is he calling her Chinese? Because <laughs> Chinese, Japanese, look at these knees. It's all the same to him. That's a Family Guy reference, by the way. He doesn't respect the culture. Asians are all just the same people. They're all just Chinese. Yep. That, that, that truly is the mindset of a lot of people who are truly racist and just vile. So let me get this straight. 
He's in South Korea. Yep. Spamming Hiroshima Nagasaki to. <laughs> and here's the really fucked up part. Okay. And I hope I don't get banned for this. I gotta speak in a way that is. <laughs> the tragedies of Hiroshima and Nagasaki is terrible. I deeply, deeply think that this is not a funny issue. Terrible, terrible incident. But in Korea, and maybe some of you guys can relate too, a lot of the older generations, due to them living during the warring times, their opinions are not very progressive. So if he's saying this shit, and some OG from the block shows up, I'm gonna leave it there. This is a nope. Uh uh. I've learned my lesson. Troll them. Calling the people there Chinese. In South Korea. Yep. Crazy, huh? He doesn't know where he is? <laughs> no, I do think he knows where he is. Obviously, because he literally came from Japan and came to Korea. But there's a reason why he doesn't just go to China and does this shit, right? There's a reason why he doesn't stream in, like, I don't know, different places in the world. Like, ha do you think he's going to go to Brazil? Do you think he's going to go to China? Do you think he's going to go to, like, some other places where, you know, yeah, like Mexico? <laughs> do, do you think that he's going to go to Mexico and, you know, call out the cartel? Do you think he's going to go to Saudi and say that shit? Because <laughs> he knows! He knows that if he does this shit, he's dead. So with that in mind, he definitely knows where he is. There's a reason why he's calling everybody Chinese. It's not that he doesn't know where he is. He, he knows. He's, he's avoiding those places intentionally. Oh my god. <laughs> Average American. Don't put this on me. <laughs> he is American though. <laughs> and this does not represent all Americans. This is an outlier, right? This is just an outlier of humanity. Gangnam Style. Oh, God. Gangnam Style. <laughs> Look at the frame one reaction. Did you see that? Did you see that? Bro, 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 bro. The girl walks in. Let's do, let's do frame by frame. This lady walks in immediately, right? Look at that, her eyes is already, because like the sound, the Gangnam Style is playing, you know, to the right. She walks in, and, oh, oh, what, 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 she can already hear the sound, so she's already peeking. She's primed, looks to the right, uh-oh, peek the corner, spot it, and then what does she do? Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. <laughs> and this guy too. <laughs> this, this guy is like, yeah, you, you, should, you should leave right now, we don't, we don't want to get clipped. As seen in the video, Johnny is shown disrupting a restaurant, throwing noodles, making a mess, so and annoying. playing loud, obnoxious music. In the US, behavior like this might result in just a warning or a fine. Behavior like this is normal in the United States. <laughs> True. Th yeah, like if you go to a 7-Eleven at 3.37 in the morning. Oh, that's a good time. That's a good time. Between the hours of 3 to 4 a.m., that's when some crazy shit happens. Maybe not so much between 1 to 2 a.m., but something changes within the next hour or two. That's when I used to go to, you know, back when I was, like, visiting my hometown. I'd hang out with my old high school buddies, and we'd go to, like, 7-Eleven high as fuck and get, like, microwave pizza there. I know it's crazy, right? But it tastes really good at specifically 3 in the morning. We'd eat that shit in the parking lot and look at all the crazy, you know, ghetto shit happening. There will be a Johnny Somali there. Yep. Maybe three. Maybe four. Fine. But in South Korea, it's an entirely different matter. Disrupting business in this way is taken very seriously yeah, and carries significant consequences. Weird. And now- Bro didn't read a patch notes. Bro don't understand the different rule set. You're not in Japan anymore, bro. You're not in these other places where you got away with it. You need to be aware of the rule set of the game that you're playing. You can't just switch games and suddenly start getting mad that you're getting faced with 29 years. Come on, do some due diligence. Oh, he's about to find out just how serious those- Johnny got the world's worst granny purr. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
called Asian grandma perm. Let's get a... <laughs> the aunties. Yeah. The aunties, bro. Look at the curls there, man. God damn, head full of hair. Johnny, maybe he's trying to be like an old granny, bro. He needs the visor. He needs a visor and a little carry-on bag. You ever see old Asian grannies in like public parks? They're usually doing like Tai Chi or hanging out, but they're always wearing the fucking visors. It's, it's like a uniform. It's like their way of like identifying with each other. Those so consequences are, but it's too late as he could be facing years in jail. Now, you might be wondering, what about those other charges? The disrespect toward this, right? What happened just now? This is fucking nothing, right? It, it's something, but compared to this, this is what I'm talking about, about the war crimes. With significant statues and the use of deep fakes. Well, he hasn't been formally charged for those Who yet. What is wrong with you? Meaning more Bro is oiling up. <laughs> he doing Diddy. Diddy oil. <laughs> Diddy or he lathering up been formally charged for those yeah. and I want you to understand how crazy this is I Want you to understand the significance of this statue, right? I'm not Very well informed because I immigrated to Canada when I was in grade 3 in Korea But simply by doing a little bit of research about this like What happened back during the warring times what happened to Korean women the way that they were treated Yes, it's a great victim statue. Yes, he knows. You think that he's just oiling up and dancing like this here? Just randomly? You think he picked a specific thing with like a specific, you know, meaning, symbol of why this exists and he does this shit? Of course he knows what he's doing. What is wrong with you? Meaning more serious indictments could still follow. He tried to dodge the consequences with a fake apology, but no one is buying it. Nobody why? believed that. Well, watch this to why. find out. So to all the people of South Korea, uh, I just want to apologize for what I've done, and I really did not mean to hurt your guys' pride this much. You guys are a good people. You guys your guys' is... What do you mean, you people? So we're thinking about, like, somewhere around 75 to 80? Oh, we're talking about the IQ right now. I see, I see. Yeah, I think probably 75 to 80 IQ. Okay, okay. About, like, the, you know, room temperature? Slightly under. 50. Ooh. And for the most part, other than room. Mr. Navy SEAL here, I've had a great experience with a lot of the South Korean people, and it was not my intention to really hurt you guys, and I hope you guys can accept it. It wasn't your intention. So what was your intention? That we think we would laugh? That we would enjoy this? <laughs> you, you think that, like, people would find it funny? That you would desecrate such a holy sanctuary to remember? Right? The horrific shit that happened to sex slaves. Like, like, do you really think that, like, people are gonna take that shit funny? That's crazy! If you did... Here's the part, right? Here, here's the best part. And this is also happening in the other dramas we're farming with these, you know, rage bait channels where I tell them, are you intentionally being dishonest and grifting? Or are you actually that retarded and don't know? And I don't know what's worse. Being so stupid that you're self-reporting your intelligence. Or being so, like, being someone with so much malice that you would intend, like, be so dis dishonest, so disingenuous to say this shit. Tell my apology. So when I saw this statue, I came upon it on my stream. At first, I really didn't know what it was. So now I believe that. I see the reaction from the Korean people, uh, I see that it really hurt you guys. And my intention in coming... I think these are other Korean streamers. I'm not sure. Because I do know that, like, it's funny when I saw his clips where basically the moment that he turned his stream on, and every stream in the beginning, he'd have, like, a new patch. Like, a new band-aid to, like, you know, patch up his, like, black guy or something. As soon as he starts it, you see another Korean IRL streamer just jump his ass. And then other dudes show up out of nowhere and start saying, Rejeondu! Rejeondu! Uh, oh, you can't see my face right now. <laughs> Sorry. They start saying legend dude, legend dude. And if you uh, have seen old street fights in the past, if you've seen old street fights, like clips where people are just screaming, World Star! World Star! It's kind of the same thing. Legend, legend dude basically just means legend in a Korean, you know, triplet fucking pronunciated word, but 
it, it just pretty much means like, wow, what a god. Well, World Star more has like connotations of like, oh shit, shit's popping off, let's go. But the legend when I heard that, it's so funny. Me to Korea was not the cause this kind of shit storm. My intention was to come here, do my live streams, make content, and be yep. funny. It wasn't. Oh, your intention was to do your content and be funny. You thought that desecrating that holy symbol is funny. You think that going into convenience stores and just making a mess out of yourself, making the customers, the workers all just have a shitty experience is funny. It might be to him and to his shitty, you know, watchers. Most of them, I think, are hate watchers. But like, do you really thought this? Because again, either you're telling me you're incredibly stupid or you're just being such a dishonest person right now. Really, I didn't want to well, how do you be funny? That's the problem. Pain or get anybody sure. in trouble. Sounds remorseful, right? But yeah. here's the thing. He claimed he didn't know the statue's significance. Yet yeah, yeah. And he poured oil on his body. Like, like you picked the one single statue that represents what I've been saying. And you poured the Diddy oil on you? Come on. You know what you're doing? In a previous clip, Johnny is seen talking about the significance of these statues. He even made sure to highlight it during his live. It's gotta be the dumbest shit. <laughs> Again, if you're recording yourself, it's all evidence against you. It, 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 what if you put that shit online and don't go away? Dude, you're, you, this is you! This isn't someone else recording you! This is the, Well, his cameraman is, but like, you know what I mean? This, this is you! Stream. Japan this shows, hates this thing. He did know exactly right here, what it symbolized. Make sure to fucking show it. For Koreans. Japan hates this thing. Oh my god, yo. This is what I was looking for. Japan hates this thing. And this isn't that like, Japan hates Korea, Korea hates Japan. I can't really speak on behalf of an entire fucking nation. We're not a hive mind. But obviously, if you heard what I said before, you know, regarding the uh, OG around the block, some people still living back, back, back those times, right? That's where it comes from. Right here. Yeah, make sure to show it. Back. Japan hates this thing. I stand with the Korean people. I love Korea. No, you don't. And everything that I did in Japan was for the Korean and the Chinese people. You won't even go to China. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I think that there's a very good probability that he actually doesn't know any of the historical context. And somebody just told him that there are statues there that make Japanese people mad. Yeah, for sure. But what about the oil on the body, though? Right? Like, do you, like, like, you could have done anything to that statue, but he intentionally poiled, poured, you know, ditty oil all over his body and pretty much started to do a lap dance on it. I think that data point suggests that this is not ignorance. He's aware and this is intentional malice. And he said, okay, let's get down to brass tacks here. If you had Johnny Somali sit down and you asked him to write down on a sheet of paper, what these statues are a representation of. Do you think it would be accurate? No, because he can't write. He can't spell. He's illiterate. But again, what he did, it was not just some random act. It was very specific. And I don't think that this is an ignorant thing. I think that he definitely knows, maybe not the entire thing, but understood, you know, the connotations, what it means to be fucking pouring oil on yourself and dancing on these statues. Stupid is not an excuse. No, I just, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying it's so ridiculous. Do you think he can write? No, of course he can't. Give him a crayon. He'd eat that. You're gonna clip that. You don't know the significance of that statue. You don't know the significance of that statue. Here it is. I do. Uh, they, they, Japan's trying to remove those all over the world. But why? God, you should have seen their faces chat when they saw this pop up on the screen. They said, oh. <laughs> so his apology starts to feel less like genuine remorse and more like damage. Yeah, he says Japan hates these statues. Why? I actually think that's all he knows. Nah, I think that's what he's saying to act dumb. And he is very dumb. But in this specific point and the actions that he did, 
on that statue, it suggests to me that he has a very simple idea of what it means. He has an idea that there were Korean women who were victims of just war crimes, terrible, terrible acts of graping. And maybe he doesn't know exactly all the different details, but 100%, the way that he acted with the Diddy oil, that is not a com that, that's not a coincidence. At least that's my headcanon. Control. The contradiction yeah. is clear. I, he first educates others on the importance of the statue, well, he doesn't know but why later they acts hate them. like he didn't know what it meant. That's a tough one to believe. How should I title this video to get more clicks? To farm off of the Asmin Gold niche. I cannot believe Asmin Gold take on Johnny Somali situation. Dot dot dot. With my face going, with Asmin's face overlaid. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the title's gonna be. Believe. This mm -hmm. brings us back to why the authorities aren't taking his apology at face value. And it's not just the government mm -hmm. that's after him. He's also angered many Koreans around the uh -oh. world, some of whom have even made threats against him. Oh, shit. This message is for Johnny Samal. Oh, fuck. He speaks, Cor he speaks English. Johnny, not only are you pissing off Koreans all over the world, but you just pissed off a lot of the wrong people. Don't come back to America, Mr. Somali. It's your only f***ing warning. Ah. Oh, shit. This is a threat from America, not from Korea. How many do you want to lose, Johnny? Because the price that you need to pay for playing this guy. Yo, can the cartel step up? Please. <laughs> now, when you, when you directly, I've seen the videos again of like, you know, dumb Mexican content creators who make stupid TikToks calling the cartels immediately just, <laughs> you see the consequences. Yo, can like the cartels post a video of like, we stand with the Korean people. <laughs> We do not tolerate this kind of disrespect. <laughs> Come on. He looks like he's like the villain towards the beginning of a Metal Gear Solid game. Yeah, maybe. Stupid games is the lives of okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if this is the actual s song playing in the background, or if this is an edit, but this part here. The beginning of a Metal Gear wait, Solid game. Wait, 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 wait. This part, this part. I want you to notice that he intentionally zoomed his face in here to make a point. Stupid games is the lives. Like, I don't know who edited this. It's just funny when someone's making a threat. And... The same fucking games. <laughs> I don't know. Of your crew, Bye. your family, and everyone you're fucking Oh my god. Oh my to. god. You gotta watch your back. We're not to be fucked with. You with us in LA? We go on the roofs and literally snipe you mother- Oh yeah! Hey, Y'all remember the rooftop Koreans during the riots of LA? Y'all remember that shit? Dude, them Koreans are military trained! They're looking for an opportunity to start shooting, bro! We had them Korean supermarkets, laundry shops, you name it, getting looted, getting just fucking just destroyed. The Korean people of LA said, nah, watch me. They pulled up on the rooftop. Just Google rooftop Koreans. This is the Death Note soundtrack? Who added these fucking soundtracks to those videos, bro? In <laughs> oh my fucking god. He's bringing up the LA riots. Yeah. Oh my god. The motherland. Bro, what? You're yes. Fucking dead. Like, you gotta watch your back, I'm telling you. If you're in a 20 mile radius to oh, where I live, be 20 miles like straight up. And I'm saying this as an American. I'm a Korean American, right? But it's oh, in my boy. bones. When people f with Koreans, I intrinsically have this desire to make them find out. I mean, me too, right? Even though he's a Korean American and I'm a Korean Canadian, right? It's still our homeland. And when I heard of this shit, I was just like, Oh my fucking god. He been doing this shit all over the world, conveniently skipping out on the countries that will actually get him consequences. And he finally showed up in Korea and I'm like, oh, I hope that motherfucker does something. Wrong way of wording. Rather than I hope he does something, I hope that he will finally, you know, be given that just divine retribution. Judgment day. Someone to just actually put their fucking foot on the table and say, nah, we're tired. We're going to crucify him. You have been asking, just knocking between country to country, 
dragging your fucking cross, saying, what are you going to do about it? And finally, maybe the Korean government will actually nail him to the cross and burn it and say, yep, it's a waste of taxpayer money. We're definitely wasting, you know, money keeping this motherfucker in jail. But sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's worth it to make an example out of somebody to show that, like, we, sh we are not to be fucked around with. Johnny's actions didn't just anger Koreans, oh, they God. also outraged Americans and the entire online community. Nobody likes him. He's a nuisance streamer who travels <gasps> around the world Most just critical. his ass. Oh my God. I am reacting to Asmongold, reacting to a video talking about the Johnny Somali situation, which is being talked about by Moist Critical. I... So many layers on layers of layers of reactions right now. SB, he is literally. It's kind of funny, isn't it? He like a pinata that gets delivered to different. Yeah, loot goblin, as Asmin says it right. Pinata, you know, you hit that shit, candy comes out. Loot goblin, you know, you playing Diablo, and the fucking little goblin, you know, loot shows up. You chase it, you fucking hit it. You play Honkai Star Rail. It's the uh, little piggy. The piggy runs around. And you gotta get that shit quick because you can get some, you know, limited resources different countries for the citizens to beat up and take some anger yeah, out he's on a loot goblin. because he's a racist asshole who does yep. his best to disrupt society yep. and make everyone's lives around him miserable True. so it's justified that people just beat his ass because he is just this miasma of cringe and just in general piece of shit oh. and i oh, this is a clip where he starts the stream immediately and someone shows up, just decks him on the face, and then someone says, Rejondu, Rejondu. Asthma of cringe Wait and for just it. in general piece of shit. Oh. This is my favorite fucking one. Yeah, we've seen it. So if you guys didn't see this entire clip, what ended up happening Johnny Somali was getting out of the hospital. Yeah. For like, 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 okay, okay. He, he's like respawning in GTA. You die from GTA, you respawn at the hospital with some patches on your head, and you're like, ah, shit, here we go. And then someone just immediately clocks him. Being punched in the face. Bro, respawn! He's getting, he's getting spawn camped! He's actually getting spawn camped! I follows him out, recording him, and after he gets far enough away out of the hospital, yep. punches him in the face again. Yep. They don't do. And it just they reminded do. me of like, remember back in WoW, where like you would wait outside of like the sanctuary zone for somebody to go into contested zone and then start attacking them? Bond camping. It was so fucking funny. Yo, yo, funny. The literal definition of F around and find out in sure Japan. Is. You can't come here again, Korea. Congratulations, now you can't leave. Oh, Based. man. Because it looks like he has unfortunate that we didn't get to hear the background voices of what happens after Johnny gets decked. And remember, Korean people don't say world star, world star, we say Rejondu, Rejondu. I'm here again, Korea. Congratulations, now you can't leave. Oh man. Because it looks like he has no agenda. Like he has no anti-Korean agenda. He, I don't think he has an anti-Korean agenda. I Neither do I. Even though he was being very intentional, when disrespecting that statue, he knew what he was doing. Maybe not all the details, but at a high level, he knew. That's why the Diddy oil was there. But I don't think he has it against Korea. I don't think he has it against Japan. He is very, he, he hates us everything. It's all just hate content. Sad, pathetic losers that are not compelling enough to actually make content with their own self resort to rage baiting, resort to the most lowest common denominator, lowest hanging fruit. When you see 10 positive comments, that's a normative position. You're happy. You see one negative comment, you get one guy, you get stun locked. Because negative emotions are much more heightened than positive emotions, right? Therefore, it's so much easier to rage bait, to make people feel angered, which drives the engagement. And this doesn't really create a community. You'll have a bunch of hate watchers, who are just wishing on your downfall. And you'll also have a bunch of tourists who don't really care about you, but rather what you're hating on that typical day of the day. So it's a very cheap way. It's a cheap, short, like it's a very um, short-term cheap way of getting these engagements. But what you don't realize is that everyone is preying on your downfall. And it's just the most saddest, pathetic loser behavior online. Because like, again, people resort to the easy way out.
Rather than putting your fucking head down and grinding and making content whatever you believe, all you can do is go around hating everything. And of course, he's too much of a pussy to go and hate China or let's say Mexico, Brazil, because you know you're going to get clapped if you go there. But this is the logic behind negative, you know, engagement baiting, you know, rage baits. They're just losers of society who just wants to feel important. But at the end of the day, again, they're low-key victims. They're low-key victims because more likely than not, and I, I totally believe in self-accountability, but kids that are grown up in a shitty environment will be shitty. And you have to blame the parents for not fucking teaching this kid to grow up properly. And then you can keep blaming the parents saying, oh, those parents are also not, you know, growing up properly. It's a systemic issue of retardation where the stupidest people and the richest people are the only ones that really reproduce while everyone in the middle are just living paycheck to paycheck and can't even think about having kids. And what you then have is just this dystopia. You have so many monkeys. Think about this. Think about how stupid the average person is. I always go back to the same line, I think made by George Carlson, right? Think about how stupid the average person is and realize that half of them are dumber than that, right? And that's what you're seeing. I think he's just an obnoxious retard that runs around causing trouble. Yep. True, Baldy. I, I, I genuinely don't think so. Like, he's not anti-Korea. He's just anti-everything, which that he can get away with. He doesn't have an agenda for Korea or Japan hate. Nope. It's just whatever suits him conveniently, he'll be like, what can I do to trigger them the most? He's just an obnoxious, annoying retard. And there's no, there's no like, uh, principle to this. Yep. Th there's no vision, right? This is not a principle stance, which Asmin always loves to say, which I actually, you know, love to say too. There's nothing logical about this. He's just like, ah, oh, shit, I can make these group of people mad. Let's see if it's going to pop up or not. There's no, like, world philosophy that's being used. There's no outlook or anything. He's just an annoying retard. That's it. I think that's the only thing keeping him alive in Korea right now, honestly. Because he's insulting Korea, but because he just came out of Japan as well. Well, he thinks Korea is Japan. That's why he was spamming Hiroshima and Nagasaki. No, he thinks Korea is China. Hockey to make Korean people mad. Yeah. Like, yeah, he doesn't even know. He's just an idiot. Like, I think that he probably knows that Hiroshima and Nagasaki really refers to Japan and not Korea. Him even playing like the Red Sun, you know, the Chinese song in the supermarket, in the convenience store, right? Or even calling other people Chinese. Like, he's just trying to make people mad. Trying to be racist, trying to have a little blanket over an entire continent saying like, yep, all Asian people, yep, yep, Chinese, yep. <laughs> it's just a sad. Ban for insulting the Japanese. Otherwise, guns are no guns. There would be no Gianni Somali in Korea. The yeah. obstruction of business charge is just the beginning. More charges could be added as investigations continue. This situation is unfolding quickly. And there was another layer of this because the first 10 years has to do with the statue. I'm not sure where the 19 is coming from, but there was also another number I saw. Maybe the 19 is directly from that, from deep fakes. If you don't know about deep fakes, I don't know what to tell you. But a lot of deep fake prawn exists and Korea is really trying to crack down on it. I read some threads about like the current instances, the, the current um, drama and like the problem happening with deep fakes. Basically, it's gotten out of control where there's these group chats that's been found in middle school, high school, kids, where they're making deep fake prawn of their teachers and professors. And not just limited to that, right? Celebrities, idols, you know, whatever. That shit is getting rampant and Korea's trying to do a crazy lockdown of like, how do we control this? And they're looking to set examples. And because Johnny Somali also was involved in deep fake shit, I think that's where a lot of the more the numbers are coming from and I'll keep you posted as it develops. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I think that eventually uh, he's going to end up in jail for a long we period more of time. Of this. Roll it. I think this is 100% what's going to happen. It's not even a question. We hate Johnny, we agree on something? Yeah, I guess so. And, and like, yeah, apparently, well, let me link you guys the video. This is a really good video. Uh, let me see here, if the guy's up. What should I be doing? At the end of these videos, I also linked the person who, you know, made the content.
But I'm reacting to a reaction right now. <laughs> I, I link both Asmin and the guy? I, I think I do. Look at that. He's only got a thousand viewers this is, or a thousand subscribers. Yeah, I'll link it to you guys. Give him a sub. This is a really good video. Yeah, how, how many subs does Asmin have? 3.8 million only? That's kind of sad. Guys, please go give Baldi some support. Maybe with your help, you can get that 10 million, you know, play button. Come on, guys, what are you doing? They should drop him off. I think that they should do that too. I think that like North Korea, North Korea hasn't had a W for a really long time because of like, you know, basically everything. I think that they could get a pretty big W if they offered to take Johnny Got Somali it? off of the world hands. <laughs> what if then Johnny realizes that Kim Jong-un really likes Dennis Rodman? And Johnny will try to roleplay Dennis Rodman. And Kim Jong-un will be like, oh, this is funny. Good content. All right. You're now promoted to my inner group of... <laughs> yeah, Kim Jong-un second in command. Ain't no way. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that's crazy. But then again, if Trump can become president, you know, you know, I, why not? Anything is possible. You know, like Kim Jong-un could farm a little bit of reputation and be like, just send them over here. We'll take care of them. That's right. Johnny Somali is Kim Jong-un's court jester. <laughs> I don't know why, what the story is behind Kim Jong-un's obsession with Dennis Rodman. You know, North Korea, yeah, I mean, they could really claim that it's such an easy fucking W, right? Yeah, build up some <laughs> worldwide goodwill, absolutely smart. Yeah, I mean, like, they really, yeah, somebody needs to go tell him that. He's probably working for North Korea? Nah. North Korea can't pay him. I bet he probably thinks he's in, I, I bet he probably thinks he's in North Korea. He probably, I, I, the, the, the thing is that, a person that's that dumb, you can't communicate with them. You can't interact with you. You can't have a discourse with them. Exactly. And we're going to be covering, you know, the uh, anime fucking uh, rage bait drama video later on, too. But here's the thing. You cannot reason with the unreasonable. There was no logic in the first place. They're just monkeys screeching out. They cannot control their emotions. And there is no place of conversation to be had. You cannot reason someone, again, this is Asma's word, you cannot reason someone that's reasoned them into a position where it just doesn't make fucking sense or something, right? It's just, nothing can be done. So what do you do? I have some solutions. But if I said it out live, I think I'd go for a two-week vacation. You can't explain things to them. Uh, they're just fucking stupid. Imagine yep. if North and South Korea reunited over hating Johnny Somali. Oh, now that was not on the bingo card for 2024, 2025. <sighs> the unification of North and South, thanks to Johnny Somali. Damn. That would be a historical moment. Like, it was like the one thing that like takes it over the edge to make everybody uh, positive about it. I think that could happen. You're right about that. That could be the final thing that actually changes things. And that's pretty much it. Just a really frustrating situation with Johnny Somali, thinking that he can just get away with everything. But you fucked around and find out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. And I'm so glad that, like, there is an actual, like, consequences that's about to happen. Will it actually happen? Who knows? We're going to have to, you know, keep up to date with the situation as it unfolds. But, oh my god. 29 years? Nah, double that shit. Double that shit and give it to someone else. And again, Please go give Asmin a like on the video. Subscribe to him if you haven't. We'd like to help out, you know, smaller channels here. I think he can get to 4 million subs very soon if we do that. See you next time.